So the challenge is, how can we crop an image that's on our canvas or overlaid on top of another image in Snagit? Well, Snagit has a crop tool, but most of you already know that that crops the whole canvas and anything on it. That doesn't work on just this image. So there is a way that you can crop this image. It's a bit of a workaround, but it does work and it allows you to do what you need and crop any image or object on your canvas without affecting the canvas or anything else on it. And to do that, what we will do is use a placeholder from the templates, either in Snagit 2019 or 2020. I'm going to go ahead and delete this image. I'm going to create a new image from template. I'll click on that and you can choose any template doesn't matter we just need a placeholder from one of them so I'll select this one and I'll create when it comes up I'm going to click off to the side here just to make sure everything is deselected I'll click on one of the placeholders then I will we'll right click and copy and I can go ahead and close that template I won't need it anymore we just needed one of the placeholders I'll come back to my canvas or the image I'm working on right click and paste that placeholder now the first thing you want to do is make sure that there's no effects on this placeholder. In this case we have a white outline on this one so I will set that to transparent. There's no other effects. I can basically resize it to whatever size approximately that I want my image to be. And in this case I'm going to right click again and copy just so if I need to use it again I don't need to worry about any effects being on another one that I would paste in here okay so we have our placeholder here I'm going to drop an image into it and what you can do is just grab one of the side handles here or one of the top and bottom handles and click and drag but you'll notice there's a little problem here and you'll run into this most of the time and you'll see that the whole image is shifting around inside of the placeholder we want to just crop this down. The reason that basically happens is because the image is a lot larger or different size than your placeholder. But there's a way to take care of that. I'm going to show you a couple ways to crop and depending on the situation one way works better than the other but yet they both work together and you'll see what I mean here in a second. So how do we rectify the problem of the whole image moving around inside? Well, what you need to do is double click on the image, which will put it into the image editing mode or resizing mode here. And all you need to do is just move that image ever so bit or however much you want. Once you move it, it's going to make the placeholder locked in crop mode. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to center this one here. And then I'll click off of it. Now if I select my placeholder and I drag one of the side handles, it will now crop and your image will stay where you put it. So we can crop this down just like this. Okay? And that's one way that you can crop an image. And then of course you can move it around wherever you want. I'm going to delete that. Let's go ahead and paste our placeholder in here again. We'll drop that image in here again. Another way you can do it is basically the same way. I'm going to scale my whole placeholder down here. I want something about that size. What I can do, again, this is going to shift because I haven't done anything with the image. I'm going to double click again, only this time instead of placing my image in the center and then clicking and dragging the handles, I want to have my finished crop roughly about the size of my placeholder so I need to make this woman a little larger what I would do is just scale my image to fit inside of my placeholder and so it would be like that then I can click off and you'll see that's cropped and if I need to fine tune it since we've moved that image the placeholder is now locked into crop mode and your image will stay right there and you can fine tune your crop so the thing to remember or realize is that once you move that image, your placeholder, <coughs> excuse me, 
is locked into crop mode. There's no way to turn that off. So you may need to make this image smaller or larger. The way to do that is go ahead and size up your placeholder to the size you want. Let's say I wanted to make this a little bit larger like so. You need to double click and then resize your image to fit inside your placeholder. So I would do something like this. I can click it. I can come in here. I can fine tune it if I want. Like so. And that's how you can crop a, another image that's on top of the image or in your canvas without affecting any of the rest of the canvas. And while we're here, I'll show you a couple other things that we can do with those placeholders. I'm going to take this image and I'm going to put a black outline on it. And I'll bump it up here a little bit. Let's make it say like about 8 there, 9. I'm going to apply a shadow to it. And let's set that distance up a little bit, say, well, about seven or eight, maybe eight. I'll bring up the opacity on this one. I'm going to blur it a little bit more. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and right click. I'm going to paste another placeholder and I'm going to put it so it's inside of the black outline now to make this easier with this placeholder selected I'm going to come over here to the properties and I'm going to drop the opacity on it and you can see that you can see right through it now I can go ahead and adjust it to the inside of my black outline okay and what I'd like to do on this I'm going to turn the opacity up a bit I want to put a duotone overlay on top of this. So basically this placeholder right here I'm using as a layer on top of my image. I have this duotone overlay. This is kind of a popular thing on a lot of images now. We can go ahead and set the opacity on it. I'll have to select it again. I can bring it way down. I can make it, you know, really dark. Whatever you're looking, whatever you're looking to achieve. I like it kind of about like that. And let's see. How about we add a little vignette overlay on it. Give it some grunge look. So I'm going to drop that. Make it a little lighter than I normally would if I left it like this. I'm going to right click. Paste the placeholder on there again. Same thing. Get it lined up within, within the uh, black outline. So about like so okay I have this vignette overlay here I'm gonna double click on that and I want to bring it in so that I get the full effect of the vignette and I'll bring it in within I'll make sure it's in though that blue placeholder outline I'll click on it I'll select it again and play with my opacity I want it just a little bit of grunge look to that image. And there you go. Looks pretty good. So you can use one of the placeholders from the templates to crop your image. And you can also use it to add layers to your images and do some pretty cool stuff with your images. So anyways, I hope all that was useful. And now you have a way to crop your images and do some other pretty cool effects to them within Snagit 2019 or 2020 using the placeholders from the template feature.